Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Aquatico and Steve Lab 2023. In the last video, we built up these orchards and some supplementary oxygen produced. So I had to shut down my mushroom cave because well, one, it's not being used all that much. None of what's being produced out of there is being is going to a lot of things. The illumination factory actually takes up a bunch of materials that I don't have a lot of. Glass. So this episode's mainly going to be fortifying my existing infrastructure. Making probably another glass works, but before I even do that, I need to get another fuel facility built up. You also may notice my throat is a little bit scratchy, my voice is a little bit raw. Um, might be the right word for it. Uh, the it, the allergies are getting pretty bad. In Texas, it seems like everything is burning off pollination or what the hell you want to call it. So, I'm in pretty rough shape right now. I'm going to try to muddle through best I can. I'm just going to Wow, this I really just need to be going for production boosts on everything at this point. Uh, 278 tools, perfect. Make sure A, we've got the credits for this, and B, have all the materials for this. All right, we got 241 fuel. We can go ahead and go for another glass maker. I'm also trying to drink some tea to keep myself operational, because uh, I'm recording this Wednesday early, early on Wednesday. And I've got like three days of work left this week and zero time off available to me. So this is going to be fun. Go ahead and get a production boost going on this. Let's see. Vintage quartz electronics. I've got all that. Shark attack danger. Again. Okay. I mean, this, this building should satisfy. If it ends up coming down here, I can activate this one, too. But let's keep working on the glassworks. So we have two glassmakers in here. I'm going to take 112 fuel, 84 quartz, which I've got, and 70 tools. How many tools am I making producing? Balance is still a little off. That's okay. But I think the next row... The buildings would go here. I could put more uranium mines down here if need be. Or I could put some production down this way. I was doing this last video too. Where I was kind of extending out some production this way. Let's actually do that. I'm aware that it's in a fertile area. But this isn't a big one, so I'm not going to be spending a lot of production in this section making those materials. Bring it all the way down this way. Like that. We'll get another glassworks going, and I believe I have enough workers to do this. No, I don't. I have one available worker. Well, let's we'll see if we can find anybody doing our expeditions. Ah, the underwater base. Pilot project of an old underwater base. Even though an older design, this would be something we might use. Hey, you got some iron and plastic. Let's go ahead and request some extra batteries and food. Resupply and head towards the assistance request. This expedition is one day away, so we'll come back and check on him in just a moment. Being done up. Sharks are going to keep doing their sharky thing, so let them, I say. Get a good amount of fuel going. Oxygen could be a little better, because if I turn one of these guys on, this consumes, yeah, 270 oxygen per year. And also, 4,100 credits. A bit bullshit. For these upper-end greenhouses. Note that the lower-tier stuff doesn't take nearly as much to upkeep. This one, though, to produce beans is 4,000 credits per year. That's a shitload of money going out the door. Yeah, let's, take, let's send this expedition for the faint SOS signal. Oh, explore. Too late. Uh, data suggests there was a massive explosion a few hours ago. Coincide with us losing the signal. Rest in peace.
I'm gonna send that expedition out over that way. The, the resupply sub should get there in a little bit of time and top that group off. This one will just stay off the line until I can figure out, you know, how much O2 I'm willing to produce for this. So 270. This one takes fuel and electricity. I've got both. Also trying to drink some, uh, trying to do a warm model Palmer right now. It is searing my mouth. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? I'm gonna slap down an O2 extractor right about here. And let's bring it down to about. There we go. It's gonna give us more O2 production, which allows us to turn one of these guys on. I'm going to speed up the game just a little bit as the shark attack danger is still just lingering out this away. Trade base. I could sell off some of the materials I have. Um, let's actually see what I'm rolling with at the moment. I could sell off a bunch of my diamond tools because, again, I'm not using them at the moment. But could definitely do something with that. Squid Hunter base. Definitely want to put a couple of those guys down. Because I believe squid is a tier 2 food. However, it needs to be in range of an illumination factory to get actually a 10% boost. So I think there's going to be a little spot right here. It's going to be a happy little spot where the squid hunter base is going to go. And that glass maker has been up and running. No idle workers, right? I remember that. So, hey, look, this is an opportunity perfectly for me to go ahead and do this. I'm actually going to stay... Yeah, I'm going to keep this guy on. So we can get through the rest period, but these two are already searching for survivors. I want to get all three of them to that point where they're essentially looking for survivors, pause them, and then when I need to get more people brought in... Excuse me. I go ahead and do that. Wow, okay, already got the hiccups going. This is going to be a fun morning. Plenty of fuel. O2 is at plus 52. It's going to jump here in a second. 292. Zero citizen, zero drones. There we go. My power is becoming a concern. I'm also missing courts here. That's fine. And since that facility since we no longer have a danger at this point from sharks i'll go ahead and pop a worker out of that buildings running now on a maximum efficiency but we're still just waiting on the courts to be delivered from this guy i do think that i may have an issue going on with the number of drones i have or the number of buildings i have near my depots and whatnot i think it's actually having a problem where stuff's not being picked up and delivered as efficiently as it could be Note, I do also have 111 idle drones. I could definitely make them do more things. I do think that a solar plant is a great idea. Hang on. Yeah, you haven't even done level 2 yet. There we go. We have 340 extra O2, so now we can assign... This is beans and garlic over here. Garlic, then beans, I guess. Yeah, this will produce 1,100 garlic a year. I'll take that. Still trying to keep going with this tea, but it is ripping hot right now. We do also have a couple diamond mines that are under construction. This is taking 81 fuel without the expansion, mind you. I don't want to burn through any more glass right now. So that one on optimization... One only takes 72. I may need to go ahead and upgrade my fuel refineries even further if possible. How many tools am I sitting on? 54? 
think I need to get more tools. Go ahead and sell some stuff. Make a bunch of cash in there. Actually, no. Let's buy it first. Down here. And not the most expensive thing out there. So, 1120. Head over here. Eleven twenty, eh? There we go. Could have done a lot more with it. Did not though. Research, you can tell. My first time playing this uh, session. Shining Squid combo. Going to be research next because that one put it next to Illumination Factory gets ten percent production bonus. Now, Squid Hunter Base. Um, it is kept up by a person. Produce more basic goods. Yeah, we're running low on clothes. I can address that here in a sec. So this needs uh, 60 light bulbs and takes 50 glass. So this building does need to be online to keep the Squid Hunter Base operational. I'm going to hold off on the Squid Hunter Base. Let's go upstairs into the domes and look at my tailors. So now producing 542 clothes per year. There we go. That should fix my clothing issue. Really, that, that should address it very quickly. Yeah, out of tools, that's totally fine. I can do something with that in the future. Okay, checking over here. This does take a chef, okay? Oh. Credits per house in the dome connected by cable car. Let's go ahead and max that out. 807 profit per year. I'll take it. The pub, I haven't been able to do anything with that because, of course, I'm short on glass. But hopefully that's going to address my concerns. We need tools for those two. Good on that for the moment. Located a survivor. That's good. Maybe both of them were successes? Didn't actually say. Haven't gotten a no homes available notification yet. If I do, I can jump upstairs and take care of that real fast. Well, this I guess I have to let the game run right now. Mainly to get more glass. We've got plenty of concrete available, which is good. I can sell that if I need to. I can sell my diamonds if I need to. Would have loved if I can get some more jewelry built, but that's probably going to require a second facility. Which, how many, uh, how many folks am I sitting on available right now? Two idle workers. Hmm. Let's actually just go ahead and take a look at our expeditions. See what they're doing. Pirate submarine converging our position. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to do the, uh, defuse. Whoa! We're to engage the enemy as a result. Our ship is minor damage. This on the other hand is already being salvaged from materials. Their crew, what's left of is in custody, set to Atlantis HQ for a fair trial ASAP. 20 iron, 16 plastic, 5 electronic, 10 tools. That's helpful. These guys are over capacity. That's a, that's fun. We should bring them back, but at the same time, I can jettison stuff that I don't need, like food. Probably just dump some of that stuff out if I don't need it right away. But letting the game run may be the play, or at least a bit. I do have this idea, and it's a crazy idea. This is on crazy. I'm gonna need more fuel refineries. That's a given. Because I have the all of these oil platforms that can still be produced and nowhere to really send it other than fuel refineries. But if I go ahead and build, let's say, a set of fuel refineries, like let's say one and two, going all the way back over to here and to my expedition house, 
I could put down a defense platform guardhouse combo near here, and that would actually get towards that goal I've been discussing of getting guardhouses kind of like on the edge of the map. And having two, let's say we put them right here. I'm just going to blueprint these out for now. Let's see right there. And then like right there. Having these two pretty close together, they're near this, their range would extend out over the abyss, so if the sharks do come in, they're immediately going to get engaged. Research completed on the squid research combo. You need to go distillery, oysters bar, and subservice. I want to go oysters bar first because I have plenty of oysters, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure he's sitting on a crap load of oysters. Yeah, I'm sitting on 1,200 oysters. Let's start planning out more fuel refineries in this area. There's some spots where I can, you know, it's good for mining materials, but I do like the idea of putting some refineries down in here. It would connect these two sections up and also give me plenty of fuel production, which is going to be kind of critical if I get these guys up and running. So let's go ahead and do some planning and blueprinting. Plastic and iron, I've got a, both of them. Now there's a downside. At a certain point, they're going to lose their bonus. Once we get to about this point, they're not going to have their bonuses anymore. A little unfortunate. I do actually like putting them kind of along that line. And if I go the same line as this guy here... Okay, it looks like I'm going to get two. Yeah, I'm going to get two with that 10% bonus, and the other ones are not going to get it. A little unfortunate, but still going to be pretty good. I got four there. That's nice. I'm going to go three apart. Okay, good. Alright, so you get seven in there. Not bad. I can't get the eighth one in here because this guy's in spot, which is fine. Alright, seven more fuel refineries ready to go. I did get a notification from the expedition that I had something there. Uh, received a request for, for assistance to my vessel on these coordinates. They had to evacuate and agree to take when there's tree port they covered for transport expenses. Okay, nothing more we could do on that one. Let's do a resupply on materials, do that, spend the cash on it, send expedition to that one. This expedition is on its way out to there. It's gonna arrive in about a month. Okay. Also realizing I didn't need to line it up with this guy because I'm gonna have a pipeline coming down this way for him. Whoops. Oh well. There we go. And I'm gonna just kind of come down the front of these of this set over here. I could come down the back, but I still have to go on the other side of them. So my thought is come down this way, maybe jockey across. There's spots for a couple of mining facilities, diamond mines maybe, that I could hook into. And that's where my brain's going with this right now. I'm gonna pipe it all out. And then we're going to get the next, uh... I don't know if I want to go out like that, just because of what I can build over here. So I'm actually going to do the pipeline like this, come down here, 
and then hook in like that. Also need to hook in all of these buildings, so let's do that real quick. Give me happy little hookups. I don't think I... Yeah, I didn't hook them all in the same spot. Oh, well. All right, cool. So that's now available to build out. All right, they take fuel... I'm going to get these two both up and running. These defense platforms also. More survivors being located and brought in. Totally forgot to pause them. Again. Right, these two are searching for survivors. Perfect. Both of these are where I want them to be. This one will get through its rest period, get to the destination, and then that start when it starts looking for survivors I'll go ahead and hit pause on them so how many folks do we have available now to us we have three that's good getting our glass production up that's good I'm just doing Expansion 1 and Optimization 3, because it mainly takes plastics to do those. Oh, and Production Boost 1, because it only takes plastics for those. Cool beans. I'm going to take this building offline, and then once this defense platform is ready, we'll go ahead and bring it online too. This has been the goal. Getting defense platforms near the edge of the map. I like it. Because we have our defense platforms and our guard houses down here. This area, note, I haven't done a lot with it. This is a pretty good spot where I can grow things. I may just turn this into a big industrialized zone too. And keep this area as where I'm growing everything. Because that area is very expansive. I can build in it with little interruption compared to the other areas I have. This area has some free space, and I could utilize it. It won't be 100% though if I go just balls to the wall like I plan to do over here. I can do at least one more farm, maybe a second over in this section, and then kind of work my way down here. Not there to subservice base for yet. We need the distillery first. We're going to grab that. I was going to kick up the game speed a little bit and see if we have anything on the expeditions. Uh, pirate submarine converging. Lock on a fire warning shot. No signs of retreat. Enemy is destroyed. Wow, we're just loading up on stuff. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. One day. Oh, it's always one day short. Note, also my bat... Wrong button. My batteries are getting a boost. We're actually now producing almost a surplus, it looks like, so... That's good. There's that little notification that it's arrived there at location. Estuary of the area with a collapsed cityscape. Under the water levels now rich in algae, fish life, and even bigger predators, sharks, and tunas occasionally. Water is rich with nutrients from sediment. Right over the ocean. Got a little bit of cash from that one. There's an illegal biosphere over here. We're going to resupply our food. And we're going to, we're pretty much, we're going home. So it's going to be on the way, essentially. That's the only reason I picked that one up. There is that elect gigantic eel, but that the submarine we have is carrying a ton of material, and I don't want to lose what I've picked up. Let's get upstairs. Here's my clinic, clothes shop, jewelry store. I'm producing 310 jewelry per year. Y'all need to deal with what you get, okay? I don't have spice. I don't have cider. Because the distillery will actually produce that. What are you short on? Small fish. What? What are you short on small fish? Oh. 
I need to build another fisherman's hub? I haven't built one of these in forever. Yeah, it looks like we need a small fisherman's hub. And I know a good place I can build it. It's kind of down in here. It's not very intrusive. It's a relatively small structure. I am aware that I'm building inside the... Uh... Oh, wait. Hold up. It doesn't need it. It doesn't need O2 for it. So, saying that out loud, it makes a lot more sense. I can just build like one. I can build a couple down here. Just kind of wedge them in where I have capacity for them. Like right here. Not a bad spot for it, actually. I can build two more down in here. Let's make more fish. Oh, interesting. The recent panel discussion in the scientific community of religious leaders caused great tensions. How should we address? I'm just going to stay in the middle on that one. It did. I believe in both. I believe there is a place for science and religion in the world. But just don't force it on. Don't force my beliefs on me. I won't force... Or your beliefs on me. I won't force mine on you. I have no feelings whatsoever. Very, uh, how very neutral of me. Exhibition 2 has arrived on site. More iron and plastic. Okay, this thing is, like, just loaded. Let's actually get that thing to come home now. Yeah, it's going to take two days to get home. There's an SOS signal out here, so once this thing comes back, it is chock-a-block full of stuff. We've got diamond tools on board, oyster small fish, sharks, batteries, credits, iron, plastic. Somehow I picked up pumpkin. I remember how I picked up pumpkin. I think it's just when I resupplied it with food. I just grabbed a variety of whatever is available. He's going to fully upgrade this guy. We'll do three for small fish and then one for uh, crab. And one, one of these three will be crabs. All right. Research completed. That was on the distillery. Now we can have subsurface base four. Enables us to bring our subsurface base to a very sophisticated state. The new center will provide 4,000 yearly credits, grant 1,500 space capacity, and a maximum of 12 influence points for legal matters. In addition, this is going to open up the plastic age for us, increasing plastic production. This is um, an influence. We have cages four, which gives us swordfish, greenhouse four, big dome, houses, large planters, ramen, sushi, restaurant combos. Absolutely going to lean into that. We have shark attack danger. In the building online. There is no guardhouse down here. Interesting. This section... There's a little bit of a gap in the field for... In the defenses. Right around this cage. Do we have anything else we can put in here? Nope. We're good. I was honestly expecting another pirate attack. Because... Usually they come on Thursdays. Uh, they came in yesterday's video. Just how everything shook out. But we'll go ahead. I'm just going to leave them there. I'm aware there's a shark attack this time. Not like uh, not like Tuesday's video. But other than the problems I'm having with my luxuries not being sufficient, I do think I'm going to need to just build a field that's only going to produce wheat. Just get a greenhouse and just wheat on repeat with it. So I can continue having beer production um i don't did i get plums and apples going yeah apples and plums haven't been produced yet so i can't do anything with them just keep an eye on these sharks at the moment can't do anything with the uh distillery because i don't have the apples and plums so it doesn't make sense to build a distillery yet very similar to how i'm not using the mushroom cave that much because the illumination factory what it's producing isn't needed in a lot of locations yet I do have 
one idle worker for it. Make sure this building is... Yeah, this building needs to be turned off. Hey, here's our expedition submarine returning to base after a successful mission. I think we have to go into the map, though, to get him to... Transfer all of this to the colony. 500 iron, 400 plastic. Okay, we're going to do a full resupply on you. And then send you out probably to the ship cemetery. Because we can do... Actually, we're going to go here. We're going to go all the way to the Crystal Cavern. Resupply when it's out there. And then have it make its way back. Give me the best way to do it. So, submarine came in. She's immediately heading back off. Now sitting pretty on plastic and iron. I like that. The shark... I guess the shark's already left. I, I blinked. They disappeared. Yep, zero drones, citizen, zero drones, zero citizens. Lost in that. Yay. I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm out of my other... There's Glassworks 2. Over here, right. Trying to get them all in similar locations. As we go into next week, I want to expand out even further on these, but now I've got more fuel, or a lot more fuel production, which is going to allow me to build more things that are going to consume fuel, like, uh, what are these diamond mines? What do you guys consume? Fuel? Okay. I totally forgot about the rescue mission again. Every single time. <laughs> I keep forgetting about these damn things. Alright. That one's just going to stay in rest mode until I can be able to micro, micro it a little bit better. Now I'm able to produce more from the diamond mine, give me more diamonds that I can sell off or make it into diamond tools or turn into jewelry once I get into the next level. So Super Space 4 will be completed in the next video next week. No houses for people. I will also address that in the next video. For now, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching and sticking with me as my sore throat has actually improved a little bit as I've been recording this video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.